Hi, it's Mids from My Life Mids. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I want to do a haul video and I'm just sharing with you quickly the Ancora bag. I, uh, some of the things that I purchased from the Ancora store that will have to come in another video. I do want to give you a he heads up though. Uh, please uh, check out Inky Rocks on YouTube. She should have the video up by now. It's probably definitely going to be a lot more in-depth and a lot more uh, pleasing visually than my video so I highly recommend you check out her channel. I will leave her channel link down below. So in this video I just wanted to share with you some things that I recently purchased. These things are some postcards that I purchased from the store a while back and then they gave me these free samples which is always nice to have. Um, I think this one is like a shampoo or something for your hair and the other one I think was a sunscreen. Here is a look at the Weekly Traveler's Notebook from Falcon Travelers. She's rebranded now, um, but I participated in the spring sale. I will do an unboxing video. I will share with you an unboxing video, but that will be coming probably later. But I did want to share with you that my weeks, my Hobonichi weeks does fit through the elastic. And I've paired it with this... Hueco Sport uh, fountain pen and it looks so so nice uh, like I said I will do a more in-depth unboxing or like a haul video uh, because I did purchase some other items from Falcon Travelers so I just wanted to share with you that the Hobonichi Weeks uh, does fit in the cover because I think in the video in the haul video I, I was I didn't have enough time to actually show you all right so moving forward, I wanted to set up or finish completing my ink swatches here. I purchased some ink samples from Shigure Inks. I found out about this website through one of Inky Rocks's uh, videos. It was several, several videos ago, maybe even several months ago. I think she was doing a video about Tono and Limbs and I was interested in some of the ink samples and so I was happy to find that Shigure Inks uh, offered these. And so I did the swatches on my regular, um, I think this is bank paper, on the five ring bank paper. And I just wanted to uh, put them in or organize them in this mini five organizer that I have. And now that I think about it, I should have created these inserts using Tomoe River paper instead of the bank paper. I will have to check with Yamamoto company. This is where I purchased my inserts. I'm going to see if they have a five ring insert for with uh, Tomoe River paper. The reason why I feel like I should have used uh, that because I use the Hobonichi on a daily basis. I have a weeks for writing to my kids. I have a five year journal for myself and also the cousin for journaling. So. I am very familiar with Tomoe River paper and I should have uh, used the Tomoe River paper as the insert. But anyways, I still really like having this mini five mini ring binder uh, to keep track and organize my ink samples. Here is the notebook that I brought with me to the Sailor and Cora store just to do some swatches and I'm very very happy that I had the Tomoe River paper with me. Uh, that is the A6 uh, Day Free style and the shop itself has their own uh, ink swatch cards but the properties like the ink properties uh, are not really accentuated on those <laughs> ink sample cards so I'm very glad that we were able to swatch on some Tomoe River paper. So here is my currently inked page for April 2021. I haven't really changed out many inks I guess I'm not writing as much this month. I've been quite busy with work. Um, I finally included a new ink in the Parker Jotter fountain pen. I decided to include the Tono and Limbs ink and so I wrote that there. And this book is the Cosmo Airlight and then this one here is the Tomori River paper, just the regular A5. I think this is dot grid size and I've started to swatch some of my markers and things and I hope to continue swatching like my pencil crayons and other art materials once I have some downtime. I'm grabbing my Airban glass pen that I purchased. 
so that I can do some of the writing samples um, in this Cosmo Air Light. This is the Yamamoto paper brand Cosmo Air Light notebook in the A5 size. This first ink is called Kyo no Oto Sakura Nezumi and it's very very pretty. I believe, like I said, I will have the close-up of some of the ink swatches a little bit later on in the video. Uh, but yes, it is a very pretty ink color. I have never had or owned a Kyo no Oto ink uh, before, but I heard of it, I think I first heard of it on uh, Adventure Denali's vo uh, video. This was a while ago though, and she was saying one of her inks from Kyo no Oto was one of her favorites, and I'm, I'm not sure if that's changed. Um, but I decided to go for the Kyo no Oto Sakura Nezumi. It's a very uh, pretty purple, dark purple color. And I usually am not a huge purple person, but it's not like a very, it's not in your face. And I think uh, it's a really, really pretty color. All right, next on the ink sample swatch here is the brand Rohrer and Klingner. This ink color is called Alt Bordeaux. And this is the second ink sample that I've purchased from this brand. And I hear that it is quite, it's a quite common brand in Europe. And I think probably I will, in the future, most likely purchase more from them. I really like how it wrote and it's a very pretty color. It has a little bit more pink um, compared to the purple on top of it. Uh, and I just like how it writes and I really like the shading as well. So it's a, yeah, it's a very pretty color. Next is the Tono and Limbs Tokyo Full Bloom of Sakura. I was a little bit disappointed. It's a very bright pink and I wanted one for my Hobonichi cousin because I like to have a whole bunch of color in my journals. And I think I will use this um, with a glass dip pen when I want to journal and I want to add color to my pages. I will most likely use a glass glass dip pen and reach for this ink um, but it's not an ink that I, will, that I will you know ink up a pen and have for quite some time I don't think I will journal using this um, ink I mean journal in my personal journal uh, using this ink it's more for like my Hobonichi cousin and having some color as you know just to add some fun to my pages all right, so next on the list is this Tono and Limbs. It's called Trust You, and it is such an interesting ink to see. I, I don't know if you notice here on the tip of the glass dip pen, the actual ink color is a, is a purpley gray color, um, like a faded purple color, and when you write, you can see that it looks, there's bits of green in it. And then I'll show you a close-up later on in the video, but once it fully dries, it looks quite gray. <laughs> and it's just so fun to see it changing the color and the shade uh, once the ink fully dries. So I think that part, it's, it's quite fun to write with. And I think um, similarly with the pink, I might probably, oh, I will pro probably just use a glass pen to write with this ink um, instead of actually inking up a pen. Next is this Tono and Limbs BC Bacorium. This is another very interesting ink because it is constantly changing, I feel. Um, here it looks uh, brown with bits of green and then once it dries up it looks like a totally different color and also I feel like it changes colors uh, depending on the paper as well. And so I, I find that these two inks are a lot of fun to write and um, I don't know, I'm just enjoying that fun part of these fountain pen inks. I'm still quite new to things and but I'm starting to realize that these fun ink colors are really really enjoyable and it just makes the whole writing process that much more fun. I'm not a huge writer to begin with but having something like this uh, watching the ink dry and watching it change color and morph into something else I think is it just adds to the fun of it. So you can see there it looks a little dry now so that it, it seems more green than anything. Uh, this next one is also a very very pretty color. It's another Tono and Limbs. It's called uh, Bara no Soretsu 
I'm not actually sure what that means, and I should probably research that. Um, I did a swatch of this, I think I showed you earlier on in the video. I did a swatch on the bank paper and the undertones were very, very pretty. Uh, there were bits of like yellowish tones to it. And so, uh, once again, I will most likely journal using a glass dip pen uh, in my journal. I, I don't see myself writing long, like a lot with this ink. Uh, it's more for fun journaling sessions and maybe if I write like a, a small little letter to my friends or something I might uh, use this ink but it is a lot of fun and it's very very pretty as well. I think it really it's really nice for this uh, season. So here is the close-up of that Tono and Limbs Bado no Soretsu and then another one of the BC Bacorium. You can see it's quite green on the bottom there. And then here are the close-ups of the previous inks that I did on the other page. Yeah, that full bloom of sakura pink color, is, I find that it's not very interesting. <laughs> but yes, you can see here the Trust You ink is really more of a gray tone now that I see it on the screen. Anyways, do you have any of these inks? I'm curious if you have a favorite Tono and Limbs or if you have a favorite uh, Roarer and Cleaner ink. I would love to hear your thoughts. I hope this video was fun and interesting. If you have any other recommendations or suggestions of videos uh, that you would like me to film, just leave them in the comments down below. As always, I really, really appreciate you for being here and stopping by. Please stay safe. I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.